who are organizing to promote the process of self-emancipation and who will work with other people who also want to, to organize and fight for, for self-emancipation. That's when it comes down to it, essentially what, what we are. And it seems to me, if that doesn't conform to Michael's stereotype, <laughs> um, one thing, I won't say anything. <laughs> um, you know, but if that doesn't conform to Michael's stereotype of what Leninists are, then I think that maybe it would be a good idea, as part of this general process of re-evaluation and rethinking, that I genuinely think is really important for the future of the left and the anti-capitalist movement and the people who are fighting for liberation. He should rethink his stereotype of, of Leninism. And look again at the kind of idea that, that um, we stand for. I don't know what would happen if he did do that, and I'm certainly not going to predict that he will do that. But in any case, I think in the course of this discussion and the other contributions that Michael has made at Marxism, it's clear that there's enough that we have in common, despite all those disagreements, for us to carry on working and discussing and for, for fighting together, side by side, against the barbarous and inhuman system that we, that we all hate and want to get rid of.